Penn State comes into Ohio Stadium against the top ranked team. They lead with a 38 10 loss. Yes, and you know, Ohio State, once they got rolling, they couldn't be stopped on offense. We got a chance to see Saquon Barkley again as he returned from injury with 194 yards on the game. But unfortunately for the Lions, a touchdown he had early on in the game was called back due to a holding penalty. And it seemed like the Lions couldn't gain momentum on offense after that. Penn State did get right back into it early in the third with a Christian Hackenberg to Deshaun Hamilton touchdown that got them within 11. But after that, Ohio State's offense took over. They had no answer for JT Barrett, who scored two fourth quarter touchdowns. Penn State showed some flashes on the big stage, but in the post game, they said that all they take from this is that it was another loss. Losses suck, but uh, you learn from them and you uh, take, a, take, I don't know, just got to get better. Well, I mean, we lost, so, you know, it's, you don't you don't feel great after a loss, but I think mm -hmm. being able to go back and, and learn from the things that, that we did and knowing that we have another opportunity next week to go out and play and, and, and get better. If we could have played the field position game and ran the ball more consistently um, and not got the negative yardage plays, then I think you know, we would have had a chance to, to get the game to the fourth quarter in a little bit more of a competitive fashion. Again, good football team, give them credit. Uh, we had opportunities that we did not take advantage of. For Penn State, this puts them at a 5-2 and two record, but for Ohio State, this was their 20th win in a row. Yeah, the Lions will try and get back on track next Saturday, a trip to Baltimore to take on Maryland. In Columbus, for Kerry Osep, I'm Jordan Canigliero, 6 Sports.